In this case, we see a stir, heterogeneously hyperintense, enhancing mass involving the body and left ala of the sacrum. There were additionally multiple enhancing nodules associated with the mass, extending along the cauda equina nerve roots. This was known to represent a recurrent myxopapillary pneumoma after initial resection in this location, with post-surgical changes additionally present in the deep and superficial soft tissues dorsal to the lower lumbosacral spine. These variant ependymomas predilect the conus medullaris, cauda equina, and phylum terminale, in contradistinction to the classic cellular type ependymomas that most commonly occur within the spinal cord. They can grow to be quite large in the lumbosacral thecal sac and usually span at least several vertebral levels. Other common f imaging findings include associated thinning of the adjacent vertebral body pedicles and posterior vertebral scalloping. They are considered low grade tumors with a good prognosis, although local recurrence is a fairly common surgical challenge and local subarachnoid seeding may also be seen. This case is a relatively uncommon presentation of a myxopapillary pneumoma predominantly involving the sacrum.